I'm new. I'm here with Kitty, Belle, and Chloe. And we've got another super fun friendship bracelet design for you. Now this one, it's a jellyfish bracelet. Again, this one is different than the one mm -hmm. if you were with us last year. It's different. You can see that this one, this is a seven strand bracelet. Last year we had an eight strand bracelet. Our template has 10 slots. This one has only eight slots. And again, Button's the one that showed me how to do this. Yep. So here is what it looks like, our bracelet. And this one Kitty made. You can see how it goes on the template. And Kitty is actually going to show us a little bit about this. She'll show us some, some tips and tricks in a minute. She'll actually be the one showing you how to make it because she's the expert at this one. So there's our bracelet. So what you're going to need is a template. Now our templates are made out of this kind of a little bit thicker corrugated cardboard, but it's like the thin corrugated cardboard, not the thicker stuff. So then you can make them out of like a cereal box or something like that, but we find that these ones last just a little bit longer. So to do our craft, this is the envelope for your camp kit. This is the envelope that we have here um it's purple we ran out of the one purple tape so your tape on the purple maybe kind of more of that tone but it still says thursday and it's purple tape inside of our envelope we have our template now if you did not get a camp kit and you're actually participating in our program then you can find this um template on our Google Drive. Otherwise, it's just kind of eight slots. I don't know how well you can see that. Eight slots with a hole in the middle. It's about the size of our palm, so um, it can be a little bigger, a little smaller. It depends on what feels nice in your hand. And then we need seven strands of embroidery floss, and you can do all the same colors, different colors. Um, seen it all sorts of ways. These are about two feet long, so about 24 inches long. And then also you may need a ruler to measure um, and then a pair of scissors to cut when you're done. So campers, you ready for Kitty to show you how to do this? Yeah! Awesome! So what we're going to start off with is... Show them how to do the top. I'm going to help coach Kitty through this. She'll show us how to do the top. We have our so thing. So you want to hold, make sure that the empty slot is straight up. So you count to three, one, two, three, and then take the whatever color strand and move it to the top. And then you keep on doing that until you start one, to two, see... One, two, three. Hold on, count again. One, one, two, three. Move that one up to the top. There you go. Very good. And then and you, you keep... turn it and keep on going. And once you get a little bit of a progress, it should start to see like this and look like. Okay. And how to untangle? Because when we were at Dark Hollow Day Camp, when you were doing this. this, this was hard because it was just going to the bottom and nodding up. So you carefully pull out the strings. The individual strands. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's do that on camera. Go ahead. And you pull them out carefully and make sure that the knot gets shorter and shorter until you're able to individually piece it out. Okay, Kitty, I'll keep going that now. So empty spot at the top. Count one, two, three. And you're going counterclockwise and you turn it counterclockwise so remember if you turn it this way oh, hold on move your strand real quick if you turn it this way you're and then do it you're actually end up undoing your bracelet i think so we had that problem with um the jellyfish actually it looks like it'd work either way but you just kind of want to turn it the same way all the time so we're going this way clockwise to count in this way. Now for left-handed, you would do it the opposite. We're not going to, hold on, let me show you. 
you would count one, two, three, and move this one up. Now we're not actually gonna do it because that's gonna start undoing it. But if you're left-handed and wanna do it on this side, just one, two, three, bring it up and then turn it this way. So you just do the opposite. Mm -hmm. So for right-handed, you count one, two, three on the right side. For left-handed, count one, two, three on the left side. And then that way your hand is going and you just keep going. So one, mm -hmm. one, one, two, three, up it goes. Mm -hmm. So, campers, are you ready to start working on your bracelets? Yeah! Awesome. Now to actually start our bracelet and put it on the loom, since we already showed you the, how to do it, we're gonna start, we're gonna tie our overhand knot. So for me, hold it in this hand, our Girl Scout fingers, twirl it around, and we'll stuff it in the belly of our six and we pull tight. You want to leave a couple of inches here, so more like that to leave tie on space. Now for left-handed campers, you would hold it in your right hand, take three fingers, and you see I'm pinching here, and again twirl it around your thumb. So you have that shape, and then you stuff it through the belly. So there's how you get started with that. We will put it on our loom by taking our knot, stuffing it through, and then we will hold in the center, and we'll take our individual strands and put them on. And I always find that if I kind of put some opposite, opposite, it helps hold it in place as opposed to trying to put them all straight around. When you try putting them straight around, it kind of slides and gets really uneven. Mm -hmm. So, we'll put it on, it just takes a second. When we're done putting it on, you'll see that I'm going to have, there's my, and we'll start at the top and one, two, three, or one, two, three, I will get started. One, two, three, as Kitty showed us already, and I will untangle that in a second. One, two, three. And after a while, you don't even have to worry about counting in. Because you'll just get the hang of it, one, but you two, know three. what you're doing. And again, doing. left handed, one, two, three. Move it up, and then turn so you'd have the blank. One, two, three. So, I can actually show that one, two, three. I'm going to do my bracelet for now, but you can see what I'm doing. And then one, two, three, like this, and one, two, three, it works the same. So that's how we do it with our left hand, one, two, three. So, campers, you ready to get started? Yeah! Awesome! Now that we've got the hang of how to do our bracelets, we're gonna take them in the other room where we can sit on the couch um, and do something else while we're working on our bracelets. So we will be back um, to show you once we have a little bit to show. So we'll see you in a little bit, bye. bye. And we're finished. Well, at least enough to show you what we have going on because mine I haven't gotten very far with mine. Mine's just teeny, teeny, tiny still. And I will keep working on that. Go ahead. Kitty will, here I'll hold it up for you. There is Kitty's one that she's done. 
There's Chloe. Is this almost done? There is Bells. And here is the other one, the example that Kitty was working on. Now let me have Chloe's. Chloe's is almost done. So I will show you how to take this off. Now I will show you up close because it's a little bit hard to see from all the way over there. You see we have it and we haven't stretched it out and that's something we need to be careful of not stretching out because once we stretch these out they actually get a little longer but if you stretch them out they get kind of wonky. So what we're going to do to finish it is we pinch right here and kind of pull. You want to make sure and pinch there. Go ahead and pull your threads off and we pull it loose and we'll want to go ahead and tie our overhand knot so again non knot tying hand twirl and twist around our thumb put her loose into the belly so that is our it's actually a half hitch because we're tying it on ourselves no it's an over overhand knot because we're tying it on our stuff. Wow, I do mix those up a lot. Okay, and here's the thing. You see how long it is? I can actually stretch it and it becomes that much longer. So that is definitely close that I could have it, but there it would be done. You can see how pretty that is. There you go. So tie that on. We would cut off this loose extra bit. And of course, those are great to save for crazy hair puppets or another craft. Maybe with these so extra there we scraps, go. we can make another bracelet. Ah, that'd be a very short bracelet. I've seen made keychains. That's fun to make a little keychain with it. So, that's how we finish it up. So, we'll all see you later. Bye! Bye.